to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews and we are doing a this is day two of the Hulk month of reviews and I'm doing another Marvel Select figure this is another very big figure this is the Ultimate Hulk um, kind of a grayish Hulk it's very cool um, just so far while it's in the package I'm a little disappointed with this figure but I'll wait till I get it opened up and uh, tell you a little bit more about why but uh, just to look at the package, very big packaging. On the back here you get some different artwork, that's from one of the comic book covers. Then got the figure here. And of course some of the other figures that were made by Marvel Select. Which was made by Diamond Select Toys and this was made in 2008. Very cool, so let's take a quick break and we'll get him out of the package. Alright guys, I'm back with the Ultimate Hulk out of the package. First off, take a look at his little uh, diorama stand, which is pretty lame. It's got a little plastic rockish looking base and then just this really dark, kind of cheap picture, I, mean, I don't know if somebody's red glove there like somebody laying down I'm not sure who that's supposed to be and then on this side you got a very hard to see Captain America and I don't know it looks like Wasp and there's some other figures there that you just can't see very well I and mean, this is not very well produced at all so I mean, pretty pretty lame and very small but uh on to the figure uh, <clears throat> if you guys watched my review yesterday, I did the Red Hulk made by Marvel Select. And that thing was really, really impressive. Loved that figure. But uh, this figure, very, very disappointing. Um, for, for a couple reasons. It does look cool and it'll make a cool display piece. Um, it, it's not a total waste. But... Uh, <clears throat> There, there's something, first off, just holding this thing in the package, I knew I was going to be upset with it. The The Red Hulk, for instance, was very heavy. It was, just had a lot of weight to it, and, and just, I don't know, just really, really thick and nice. This, uh, it's a really light figure. Uh, it's like hollow plastic, I think. It's just, it doesn't feel as well constructed as the Red Hulk. But then, uh, looking in the package, um... I actually can't see as much as I did when it was in the package, but there's just these little paint mars all over it. The paint quality just isn't as good. There's all these uh, seams. I don't know if you're going to catch that, but uh, like you can see all the plastic seams really well. It, just, it doesn't look half as good if you see on his back. It's just all these different chips and mars and scuffs. I mean, it doesn't look like battle damage to his skin. It's just from the paint. It just doesn't look very good. And uh, <clears throat> that's just first off, um, articulation, I mean, the Marvel Selects don't have as much as Marvel Legends, but this one has only about as half as much as the Red Hulk, even, I mean, it, it's terrible, the, uh, there is not a ball jointed head, it's just a swivel, so, I mean, that's about as far as you get on that. It does have ball jointed shoulders, and a turn at the upper bicep. There is no elbow movement, and there is a swivel at the wrist. There's no torso movement, and there is absolutely no waist movement as well. So they just made this out of a, an entire hollow shell. And then um, at the hips, it goes forward and back a little bit, and in and out. And there is no knee movement, so you're stuck with these, these bent leg poses. And on the feet, it does pivot forward and back just a little bit. So, and it does have a side-to-side -side pivot, which is which is always nice. But, uh, you know, I mean, that's, that's about the best pose you're going to get out of him. There's really not many other options. And that's kind of disappointing. I mean, it'll, it'll make a good display piece, but he, he's not going to go in very many uh, setups or displays, you know. Probably just gonna have him on my shelf. He won't go in any awesome displays or battle scenes or anything. <clears throat> but you know, I don't want to talk it down too much because it is cool. But uh, you know, 
after doing the Red Hulk, it is very disappointing to see this guy. But uh, maybe, you know, if I hadn't have done him first and just done this guy, uh, I might like him a little better. But, I mean, not totally terrible on the, uh, on the veins. It's got, like, the veins are all painted, painted like a, a grayish white, which is cool. Some, some nice little tattering tears on his, on his shorts. I mean, it's not a total waste figure. I definitely like it. It looks cool. Uh, one thing I did want to mention is uh, this one looks kind of black come as it's not as grayish as others. I'm going to post uh, two links in the sidebar. I want you guys to check them out if you're interested. But uh, Shardimus Prime did a review on his, and his looks uh, really black like mine does. And then also uh, Action Figure Expert did a review on his, and his seemed to be more grayish. Now, I'm not sure if he did any custom work on his or anything but uh... and i'm not sure if they're different releases or what but his seem to be a lot more gray and i just I, you know just putting that out there i'll put that in the sidebar if you guys are interested and in wondering why they're you've seen a couple different versions or they look a little different from what you've seen so check those out but uh... ultimate hulk thanks for checking out guys